Hello everyone, welcome back to Party Wipe Gaming. I am Rindus, and once more we are playing Pyre. Um, so, where we had left off, we had done a couple more of the Second Right challenges. Uh, Tizo got their mastery done, which I think it uh, backtracked. Yep. So it backtracked to Tizo's thing. We already did all of this. But it's cool, because it falls into line with what I said. Uh, we knocked out Tizo's challenge. Which was a tad ridiculous. We already read this, so I'm not going to go over it again. Boink. 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 Yeah, so I did a little research just wondering if there was any point to actually still doing all of this. And apparently it does keep going. It's not like, uh... Oh my god, I, just, just let me out is this there snake soul cool not even what I asked for sorry rambling um, so yeah there, there's still some stuff for us to do here so we will press forward I'll have to remaster all this stuff because it uh, didn't save just gonna shoot this all the way up. It's supposed to make it's supposed to make Tizo unstoppable, which I am all for. Some badass Tizo and all right. Jody's is at rank five. Hands for Aura farther and faster. Well, let's make that better too. We're gonna keep Jody for a while. I think our next person to get rid of will be Hadwin. So, new Tizo's biography. Okay, thanks. I, I see it. Okay, good. It's not, not like yes. Look at it. <laughs> All right. So, search the sea. The sea is peaceful for the most part, save for occasional strange shimmers beneath the surface. You realize the lone minstrel is looking down at them along with you. Except to be said, those shapes down there. Some must be worms of the sea dominion cast into exile. I understand they tirelessly fought the Commonwealth's wars. Having grown weary of their own, they must make worthy adversaries. Screeha! Tizo appears to have spotted something tasty. Get that fish, Tizo. Ta -ta -ta. And there he goes again. That one enjoys being at sea despite its perils. Eventually, the imp resurfaces, clutching something in his claws. All right, he got it. Lesser Shambler. A limbless, cold-blooded creature caught in the sea. You mean a fish? Could always sell it. All right, so we can talk to... Oh, it's Tizo. Do we have this conversation again? Oh, no. Tizo seems to be in the midst of conversation with the lone minstrel as you approach the two of them. Hey, we just saw you guys outside. The little imp appears to be perturbed about something. And, above all, he was very, very loyal. Fiercely so, in fact. All throughout the land knew better than to underestimate him in spite of his little stature. In that respect, Tizo, in many others, I might add, your great grandfather was very much like you. Aw, he can told stories. Survive. I, I am being serious. Have you known me to be the jesting sort? No, he's the minstrel sort. <laughs> Tezo seems to be admitting the lone minstrel has always been sincere with him. Just so. Then please, do not didn't great yourself, for you are not only his heir, but you are my remaining link to him, and thus to all the eight. Oh, Tizo. And more importantly, you are my friend. Aww. Lone Minstrel for his kind words, and considers him a friend as well. Friendship! The Nightwings need you now, more so than ever. Then the Lone Minstrel turns to you. Is that not so, reader? Heartily concur. Why would you disagree? Look at that face. He 
you concur with the Lone Minstrel's assessment of Tizo as the most remarkable and irreplaceable member of the group, especially now that his mastery's done. He's an extraordinary imp indeed. At this, Tizo rushes up to you and gives you an imp hug. Aww. He's grateful for your kindness and your support of him. Tizo bounds off happily as the Lone Minstrel looks on. And there he goes. Thank you indeed, Dreger. Tiso sometimes loses sight of all that makes him special, a quality uncharacteristic of his kind, but not so much uncommon among yours. Once there was a time when he was the sole imp able to conduct the rites. Since then, however, other triumphants have found imps with their capacity for it. They make for useful allies, no? More than willing to conduct the rites, whilst having no desire to leave this place. Although, little Tizo does have dreams of visiting the Commonwealth. In any case, I am certain he shall continue to serve the Nightwings faithfully. Lone Minstrel bows his head on his way out, bidding you a good rest of the afternoon. Boom! Tizo! Oh, a bunch of dirty plates. Rookie's not doing the dishes anymore because he's gone. Sniffle. Forage, study in private. Studying in private bumps up the EXP, so we need to get some people a little bit closer. Particularly Gilman and Pamatha. Pamatha's gonna level, so let's do her. Wait, no, this isn't what I wanted. Did I click the wrong one? Go back. Go back. Crap. Can we reload a checkpoint? Sorry, guys. I, I It's just not what I wanted them to have. I need to get Pamatha bumped up. Hopefully this. Ah, thank goodness. All right, and we already had the conversation, too. Crap, did I... The wrong one again, or did I? Sorry, I'm a, I'm a little out of it. Let me take a moment and actually read which ones are which. Mentor, there you go. So study in private is the one that gives everybody. This is the one that helps certain people. There we go. So she needs it. Fine, then. let us chat together for a spell. You and Pamatha spend some time reviewing one of, or some of the specific aspects of the rite, such as the properties of the aura. You sense she gained something from it. There's that level. Ooh, and then she'll level up again after this next one. Well, Tamatha, soon I'll be catching up with you at this, whether or not you like it. Alright, so... Interact. While flying, she moves faster than usual. Five seconds after banishing an adversary, she moves 30% faster. That's also nice. Let's have her do that one. I hadn't thought of it quite that way, reader darling. Oh, they're so nice to me. Alright, let's continue on. To the Hulk of Ress. Uh, look at Derp Face. Look at him, he's just like, <laughs> A messenger imp with news and rumors from the other side comes huffing towards you, your wagon. Here in the milky waters of the Sea of Solace. You read it in and offer it some light refreshment, as Brookie would have done. The imp message turns out to be about him. You learn Brookie's past transgressions have all been forgiven since his return to the Commonwealth. He was even offered a well-appointed home in place of business. It must have represented just the kind of lavish lifestyle that Ruki always claimed to have had for himself and his extended family. Eventually, and somewhat reluctantly, however, he refused the gifts. Instead, he tracked down Wolfred's agents and gave them ample information, thus emboldening their ranks. The last bit of the message sounds as though it was transcribed word for word from something Ruki had said. It simply said, the rest of you had better get back here soon, or else. 
you thank the messenger in for the report. Soon, it has all your companions talking. Don't you think he must be sad to have turned down a house? I hope he isn't sad. The days aren't quite so bright without him. Though, sounds like he's doing well out there. It seems that Greentail had himself a conscience after all. Hard to believe he would have turned down living in that kind of luxury. Though, maybe he got used to it out here. Ah, the noble rookie! He set a shining example onto us all! Hariki! Tizo is happy to learn that Ruki joined the revolution in the Commonwealth. Viva! The news of Ruki's liberation fills you and your exiles with newfound resolve. Messenger Imp accepts some scraps to eat from you and rushes off. Bye, Derp Face. Wish Ruki luck. Hey, it's you guys again. Just come on in and have a look around at all this stuff I got, okay? I got some got some new stuff here pretty recently. Maybe you sh you've seen it before. Maybe maybe not. I don't know. What's that? Burning promise. After dousing adversary's pyre, uh, we do have one of those, I think. Twilight shard. Ooh, that's a big stardust. Wink. At the start of the right, the bearish pyre automatically gains plus 10. Ooh, that's a lot of gold. Wink. We're all out of dust, huh? beef it up, but the only person I'd want to stick that on is Jody, and she's got her cool <laughs> one already. Unlearning Mastery, so we don't need that either. Alright, cool. We bought something and sold something. <laughs> and tell all your friends about us, <laughs> because I already told mine. <laughs> yeah, tell all your friends. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Alright, commence the right. Let's try and speed this along since we gotta be doing these sports balls more. You and the others are busying yourself with the commencement of the right this evening when you notice Shay behaving strangely more than Oh, excuse me. More than usual. <laughs> Maybe he's here. I I mean I think he has to be somewhere nearby. She then notices you. Oh, I'm sorry, mister. I was just I was just, oh, it's just, I think, maybe my friend is here. And I was hoping to say hi to him before we have to do the ceremony with the star ball. Athenas? Wait, is that? That's him, that's him. My friend is here. He's here. <laughs> She's still crushing on this dude. Just then, your adversaries, the fate, arrive at the other side of the Hulk of Ares. They begin making necessary preparations. Shay rushes over to them before anyone can stop her, even as the stars above start shining through the darkness. Hark, hark. You are returned once more unto the Hulk of Oris. Your adversaries in the rites this eve shall be the fate. The fate. Snuff out their pious flame and show your worth. Now oh, prepare right. yourselves. Oh, hello again, hello. Why? Hello indeed, young one. We are the fate, and once again, we hail you all, the Nightwings. Thanks, um, I was wondering, may I speak to your son? Why, I, I do not see why not. 
But let me see here. Alma, Alma, where are you? Begging your pardon, young one, but my son, he is not always punctual, you see. Hold, I shall go and fetch him. Oh, okay, I mean, my friend, I, I hope he remembers me. You. Wait, where is father? Father? Oh, hello, hello again. Your father, he went looking for you. He, he did not, you did not see him? No, I did not see him. This had best not be some Nightwing's trick, or else I'll... Ah, there you are, Alma. Our cordial adversary wishes to salute you, I believe. Oh, that's right. I mean, here. This is my salute. I am saluting you. It is nice to see you, and... And, and may the scribes watch over you, okay? I want them to watch over us as well, but maybe just this time, or... Not just this time, but this and other times, maybe. They can watch over all of us, okay? The two of them stand and watch as Shay skips over to rejoin your group. An unusual sort, that one. She is. She's about your age. Father. <laughs> At least the dad gets it. The right shall begin forthwith. Alright, so we need have Jody on block. Oops. Ah, Burger, that's right, Pamatha doesn't like going with her. Can't fix it now. Alright. So Hadwin, you'll cover this side. Or Shay. Shay, you'll cover Shay. this side. Tizo, you can take this end. Tizo. The choice is cast. Scree rock. Caution Shay not to be distracted by her adversaries. Not in this or any right. Steal yourself, Alma. Are you prepared to face our adversaries once again? Always, Father. Let us prevail here and now. Yeah, because that really worked for you last time. Let us do so indeed, my son. Commence. I missed! Your no! <laughs> all are banished, I'm afraid. A fire ah, they got through it. That was my fault, I missed that one. Switch to. Thank you. Verily. Verily. What are you doing, you? Put your mask back on, we're in the middle of the right. Oh, I, I know, I just wanted to say. And I think you're very brave is all I, I think. Oh my god. <laughs> because we encountered many triumph friends. By now, I mean, we have the dissidents and the tempers and... What are you talking about? Get to the point. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean I just... My name is Shay. I wanted to know... I wanted you to know my name is... It's Shay, since I know yours. I see. Then ready yourself, Shay. We shall not hold back. Such a struggle it must be for poor old Dalbert and his witless son. Very witless. Oh. Nice jump, Jody. Oh shit! Disaster. Oh man, the aura was just small enough for him to get this through. This is the road to ruin. Get it, Jody. By the scribes. Your adversary's pyre now falls short of yours. No, oh, no. Uh, 
Tizo. Teasel was still there. Alright. Oh, guys, come on. Perhaps you are unworthy. Someone there rose to the occasion. Boom. Jody should probably win this way. Way. Good job. <laughs> no more than a lick of flame remains. Oh, poor old Dalbert. Good one, Shay. Ah, jumped right into it. Where is everybody? The orb was cast into the fire. The two triumvirates are neck and neck. Out with you all. Oh, dang it. Shit. The orbs unclaimed again. No, the orb Dang it. the flame. <sighs> the Nightwing's adversaries gained an edge. Now go. No. Amen. Oh, come on. What the hell was that? Get it, Tizo. Oh, shit. We're so close. Someone prevail already. Oh, no. What? Nope, 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 nope. Call it what you want, but no. Unacceptable. There was one where Shay was right on that pyre and it didn't go in. Unacceptable. Alright. And we'll make sure Pamatha is actually in this one. Tizo. <clears throat> All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Chitter chatter. Commence. Twas the first to banishment. No, really? Come on. Oh, 
Back on chitter chatter, they're flirting. Such a struggle it must be for poor old Dalbert and his witless son. Dunk it. Point. The night wings shall prevail at this rate. Oh, going the wrong way. My, my, that Dalbert still can do some work. The Nightwing's adversaries gained an edge. Quite the heck wasn't that working? That's fine, too. Do you believe you can prevail in this? Oh, Dolbert's son went poof. Point glory to the scribes. Dolbert dispatched to ease. Ah, that wasn't where I wanted you to be. Oof. No, Tizo. Why is our respawn so big? And you're gonna sit there on it. That was a waste. I don't know why I did that. The orb is loose. Get in there. What the hell? That happened again. Say it like that. Themselves should have <laughs> taken note. The you know who's. It's rude. The right is complete. Um, wait, I I wanted I'm sorry, I just wanted to apologize, I think. Why, young one? You must not say such things. You are one of the Nightwings, the most envied of all triumvirates. We aspire to your greatness and your legacy. Father, please, no more of this. They have prevailed. We need not grovel at their feet. Um, Almer. It is Almer? I just had a question. Ask quickly, and then go about your business. Oh, I just, um... Well, would you be my friend? Huh? What? I was just wondering if you would be my friend, because I don't, well... I don't have a lot of friends, and you're so brave and gentle with your father, so... Ho, oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, he gets it. I shall see you in a little while, my son. Go get him, Tiger. What? I... The scribes, were they not friends? I, I think... I choose to think they brought us here to be closer together, not to be apart. There is much to learn Get from it, this Shay. experience. Alright, I got her a little closer. Oh, geez, I almost made it. Yeah. If only wings could speed us on toward greater all in all, understanding. Having to unlearn everything I've learned is going somewhat faster than I expected. A nice level up for her. Use her dash ability in rapid succession and for less stamina. After saluting her adversaries, Pamela instantly switches to her nearest ally. Oh, that's weird. 
second. Sector Banishing, Pamitha. Oh, I like that one now. Especially knowing that her her right click is that dash. Because she could just she can dash the ball and then rush it. Or dash the people the going for the ball. Alive. Her and Tizo together are a good combination. I like it. We might run that for a while. After the Nightwings defeated the Fate rather soundly. Uh, I mean, not soundly. We had to restart that one because it got so neck and neck. I think what the problem was was I was holding the fly and it wasn't dropping in. Uh, you return to the wagon and recover to plan your next move. The time has come to search the stars again and determine where the right shall take you next. The stars yet shine for you, revealing various paths forward. Gaze into the stars. We don't get to know what happens next with her, with the sun. Gold South Star. Ugh, Bog Star again. I kind of want to just not deal with them at all. Withdrawn. Although we could knock them down a peg. Because they're the leading ones. I don't want to face them in the last match. Also, why is everybody... Why is everybody on 9, but we're 10? Users are doing pretty well. Five and four. It's not horrible. Everybody else is kind of even. So let's break this one. I don't want to fight them, but I guess we have to. We can keep them from showing up in the last match. I didn't actually look to see who was there. So we'll have another brush with Tamara. Perhaps, Tamitha, perhaps she'll spare me yet another moment of her time. She's here because of me, and I'm here for her. Panthen tells you more about your next adversary, her own blood sister. Tamitha Thane, vengeful tactician of the High Wing Remnants who plot the Commonwealth's ruin. The High Wing Remnants raised from birth to excel in outwitting and outmaneuvering her enemies. She seems driven by her hatred for the Commonwealth. After retreating to the mountains centuries ago, the Harps refused to join the Commonwealth, and those old tensions boiled over into raids and skirmishes, or all out war. The flight tacticians such as Tamitha gave the High Wing Remnants a swift and powerful military presence to this day, despite the Harps' small numbers. She once hatched ambitious plans to overthrow the Homin Commonwealth, breaching its defenses so her sisters could rain down untold destruction. On the darkest night of the year, she led a daring infiltration mission deep into her enemy's lands. It almost worked. However, she was portrayed by someone very close to her, someone branded a Commonwealth sympathizer, Pamitha. Tamitha was caught, clicked, and subsequently exiled as a prisoner of war. But being trapped within the downside only stoked her fury. I wound up in here not too long afterwards. Anyways, it's complicated. What happened between us? What I did, I did for her own good and for all our sisters. Well, I'm beginning to doubt that Tamitha will ever see it that way. We'll see, I suppose, but for now, I'd best try and catch what sleep I am able. Pleasant dreams then, darling. We bid her good night to Pamitha in turn. Now time to make flight preparations, though come morning the black wagon will be pressed onward. <laughs> oh, hi Shay. How'd your date go? Shay seems very happy about something and has been chanting softly to herself. On closer inspection, however, she seems to be engaged in conversation with the wagon wall. Just a tad crazy. And so, after the right, he said to me, I think he said to me, farewell. <laughs> Can you believe it, little brother? He said that, and then he left to go find Mr. Dalbert, who went on ahead. And so I think that maybe we are friends now. Don't you think so, too? 
We have a lot in common, don't we? Friends are supposed to have a lot in common, right? For instance, um, we're both fighting for those we care about and for those who helped us when we needed it. Is that not so? He is very lucky to have met Mr. Dalbert, isn't he? Fall silent for a time, then... It cannot be that the eight scribes intended for all of us to just have to fight each other all the time. It just cannot be. So many whom we face... They don't like us very much, do they? Because if we prevail against them, it just means they cannot go home, even if they really want to. So that's why they don't like us. Back home, when they told me to s stop being me, I, I didn't like them either. You want to know what I think, little brother? I think the scribes put us together in all this so that we can learn from one another and grow closer together as friends. That is what I think, little brother. And I told them so. And maybe the next time I see Almer and Mr. Dalbert again, they will be happier to see me then. She bounces off, noticing you as she goes. Ah, Hi, mister. You sense some burden has been lifted from her and her knowledge of the rites, however informal it may be, has crystallized into a deeper understanding. Yay, plus hope permanently. Means a bigger aura for her. Uh, these are largely getting boring to read for me. I wish to be remembered, not for boastfulness, thus I refrain from detailing our exploits across the land, save to say that they were numerous. Know that only through our combined strength of arms and wit did we withstand this savage land. Such were the monstrous dangers that it posed. I came here, or I came to see that all the terrors which I heard at bedside in my youth were based entirely in fact. So great they were, they blotted out the sky. Such was the evil that we vanquished that the remnants of it yet shine under the scar stars. And in the end, it was the stars which guided us towards our true calling. <coughs> mm. The Daz Dazrabran was the first of many river ships to vanquish the down vanish in the downside. Although presumptions of its loss were not inaccurate, the doomed ship and her valiant crew were charted half, had charted half the Sea of Solace ere the end of their brave voyage. The sea-tightened, unfathomed Plurnus was not fond of vessels, sullying our sea, and split the doomed ship with a single swipe. The ship's own shattered prow would later end the sea-tightened's cruel reign, as the boastful under-king loves to recount. The stars themselves must have been moved by this that point within the sea now scar or sacred has the stars dancing in homage every now and again here the fate the fate united by many main of the alpha chief he is brash but follows his traditions his prizes he prizes faith discipline and honor qualities he seems to lack at first he formed the fate under the percepts of the olden bylaws of his four-legged ancestors. They believed in a certain natural order in the way of things. Benny Main wanted for the fate to likewise show respect. Initially, he only chose from other curs. He, however, urged the fate to replenish their numbers from any race or ethnic group thus willing. Thus shall they anticipate what is to come with open eyes and mind and never frown upon what is in store for them. Neat. All right, that's that. And this will be where we leave off for today because we're close to the 40 minute mark. I figured we could have squeezed a second right in, but then they hit us with all that story stuff. So this will be where we stop. Thank you all for watching. I have been Rindis. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Also, uh, go ahead and let your friends know. If you guys really liked it, spread it around. Show some other people the playlist. Uh, it'll be great to get some more exposure out there. The numbers are in the high 1400s now. It's getting close to 1500. When it gets to 1500, we'll do another cool milestone thing. I haven't decided quite yet what it'll be, but with your guys' help, it'll be great to reach that point. So spread the word, show everyone. This will be awesome. And thank you all, you guys are great. All of the supporters who have been watching, uh, albeit few of you, but hopefully there'll be more in the future. Until next time, I am Rindis. Bye-bye.